What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know, I know, I'm not as exciting as other channels, but I do, but you know what I do know? I know that I got subscribers. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? Anyways, welcome back to the channel guys. I don't know why I just did that, but in any case, we're gonna move on. You already know what we're here for, more JoJo's. We're gonna be doing three episodes today, as I was um, advised by the one and only Saiyan Pride. Saiyan Pride. That that's his handle, right? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and check. But you know who I'm talking about. The one and only longtime subscriber man suggests that I should do this um, three times three times you know three episodes this time around so i said let me indulge and do this um due to the fact that it's three episodes to the end of the phantom blood arc so nine episodes we're gonna be doing seven eight and nine today but i'm curious to see how they're gonna wrap this up of course i'm curious to see how they're gonna wrap this up if you know what i'm saying so let's see because you say every every time every jojo arc is like a different saga in some sort of way so i don't know if i don't know how it's gonna go i don't want to speculate anything i just want to see it play out so the last couple of episodes we watch um and you guys really came through now i know you guys really do watch my reactions all the way through no matter what because a lot of people responded and let me know that um, the Queen of England, the Queen Elizabeth story was very true, except the two guys, those were those two guys were made up um, to add to the story. Because I was wondering if the story was real or not. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times anime do do this. They take things from history and they, you know, create a story. But they do had add lore to it. You know, add a little bit of fiction to it to make it seem more believable. Um, seem more believable and also fit with the story that they're trying to tell it happens in TV shows too you know um, they'll take little inspirations from history and add on to it and then there's nothing wrong with that you know that's how a lot of people create fiction you can take what you want from it you know what I'm saying because it's fiction <laughs> right so um, so I'm looking forward to seeing more man Dio left these two guys to fight and both of them and now we have um can't remember his name the guy that's teaching jojo um right the guy that's teaching jojo he's about to face this guy and he's like he seems like this is where he feels like this is where he's supposed to die you know fighting for for jojo so um we'll see we'll see how things go anyways i don't want to keep you guys here too long of course but thank you guys as always for tuning in if you don't mind hit that like button before you leave and go watch the reaction i really do appreciate it i know you guys don't spend a lot of time here on the intro but if you are here before the pause just hit the like button before you leave because you know these reactions are fire if you're not going to leave a like for the reaction leave a like for the show itself because i know you enjoy it that's why you're watching the reaction to it so thank you guys so much and i will see you guys for the review. Good good storytelling. Let me just say that off bat. It was good storytelling. I'm not I'm not necessarily intrigued by the fights in this anime. I'm gonna tell you guys why. And it's not it's not animation. Um the fights happen, they happen. I'm more intrigued by the story and how the writer is going about to tell this story between Jonathan and Dio, right? And there's a lot of symbolism in there to a lot of foreshadowing of stuff that happened in that final episode that I really noticed, especially the the um the situation with Erina, you know what I'm saying, being pregnant and also having a baby to take care of kind of reminds me of the situation that Jonathan and Dio end up in with with the with the father right because he because the father basically adopted Dio and then you had Jonathan there already so you had your own child but you had um you're not gonna have a 
you know, a child that you basically adopt. So it's kind of like Erin ended up in the same situation. So that's kind of great story storytelling right there. Um, you know, and a great parallel that they put there. That was pretty cool. So I saw that. Um, I did not expect Jojo to die. I did not expect him to die. Um, that's crazy. And to see that he still had love for Dio, that's, that's very cool too. The love that he had for Dio that he couldn't really get over, you know what I mean? Like as much as he wanted to kill him, he still loved him like a brother. You know, they've been through so much together, but this whole time Dio was just, I think for him, it, it was more jealousy more than anything else it was just jealousy 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 that's the only reason why he hated jonathan so much it was just he was so just jealous of the dude you know what i'm saying they it, it might not be clear cut the jealousy you know what i'm saying but it's it's there man that jealousy was palpable as hell like he was just so jealous he wanted to make something of himself so bad that he that he was going to do whatever it took to there did it fought did his father sent him there to to do bad things to get the riches of the joe star i don't think so i think that was just something he decided to do because of the opportunity that his dad presented to him because it's like because his dad died he never he told him do whatever do whatever you need to do to um to become the richest person in town or whatever the situation is i don't remember exactly what he said but it's something along those lines right so but I, I don't think his intention you know i don't think the dad's intention because even when he was caught with the with the riches with the um the item um john jojo's dad right when he went to the prison and he said and he said and he, he knew that the guy stole the thing and he was like he gave it to him and was like listen in his mind he must be saying i know this nigga stole my shit but you know what i'm saying he saved my life so he gave him the ring you know what i'm saying he gave him the ring and like yo buy whatever you need to help yourself you know what i'm saying um it's it is as he said you know what i'm saying he got it from me he could have easily said yo this dude stole my shit for real you know what i'm saying and let him rot in prison or you know do the time for for the robbery or whatever because that's what they arrested him for because he was probably trying to sell something that wasn't his you know and i'm guessing maybe jojo's dad was trying to find this ring you know what i'm saying because it belonged to his wife that same the accident that happened in episode one right so this is just crazy and i have to say man i'm very intrigued with the storytelling in this in this anime and it's not a very usual story it's very um as i said i'm not the the fights are cool you get what i'm saying they're cool but it's not what i'm watching jojo's for at this point like maybe the fights will become more elaborate later you know what i'm saying i like the moves i like what ham is it hamon hamon i like what that is all about um i also like the vampire skills um i'm guessing now dio is dead you know, this guy just doesn't give up even when he's just ahead <laughs> he just doesn't give up right so i'm looking forward to seeing more from this anime man it's crazy it's crazy good it's good and for just for the storytelling alone, I like that. Now I see a lot of foreshadowing of stuff. The end of the episode nine, sort of thing in a statue or something. So I don't know what that's all about. Guess we're gonna find out next episode. So I don't know how they're gonna continue the story. If there will be a time skip or whatever the situation is, but I'm ready for it. I'm looking forward to see what they're gonna do with this. But those were three very good episodes to wrap up Phantom Blood. Okay, so Phantom Blood is done. Now we're going to venture into some new stuff. So we'll see what's next. I don't remember what the next arc is called um, or saga, whatever. So we'll see how it goes. Um, wow. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. That, that really did wow me. You know what I mean? It really did wow me. I didn't expect that them to do that 
at the end you know what i'm saying but it really did surprise me so i'm looking forward for more you know so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always um i finally got a haircut guys i finally cut i cut it off myself because i'm not risking going to a barber right now even though barber shops are open i'm not risking it um i'd rather um cut my hair myself make it look all jangly and stuff you know what I'm saying? I tried to do what I could with the beard, you know what I mean? I think I did a pretty good job. It's been a while since I cut my own hair. I didn't even bother to do a tape, even though I can do it. I didn't even bother. I was like, yo, whatever, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and a comment. And also, subscribe if you're new. It's more JoJo to come on the channel. Thank you guys so much. I will catch you guys later. Peace.